Hey guys, good morning. It's Monday morning. I thought I would um, invite you guys over for breakfast. So I'm super excited because we're just gonna do my basic breakfast. This is basically me on Monday after I've come from, from the gym and I'm super sweaty and gross. I don't know if that relay is in the video, but I am. So we are actually going to, I know I'm gonna go out of frame. I feel totally embarrassed. I kind of was unprepared. Hold on, I'm sorry about my messy pantry, but that's apartment life, sorry. So first thing we're gonna do is, I'm gonna grab my coffee cup because I just filled up my coffee maker to uh, make myself a delicious cup of French vanilla coffee because you know I'm so international. Ooh, what is that? That is not supposed to be in there. Stand by. Okay, sorry about that. I thought I saw a bug, but it wasn't. It was just um, coffee grounds, which is pretty typical. So I have really great. I have a really great um, single cup coffee maker that my husband bought me for, and my son bought me for Christmas last year. I love it. I'm the only one in the house that drinks coffee, so that's what that's about. Okay, so we are gonna get started with some eggs. Um, I already prepared. I sliced up my. I don't know if you can see my blueberries and my strawberries. I try to have berries every day because they are low glycemic index, and when you have diabetes, that's really the best uh, kind of fruit you want to eat. Sorry, for some reason my camera can't seem to adjust itself on what it's going to do. So we're going to take two eggs and crack those little bitties up. And Okay, so I'm really a two egg kind of a gal. I don't really like to have more than that. My husband will... He's he's a four he's a four egg kind of a guy. I'm I'm not like that. So we're just gonna mix up mix up our eggs. I'm gonna turn my pan on. And then we're gonna spray my pan with a little cooking spray. Use pan, whatever. I just like to get it nice and saturated so that the eggs don't stick to the pan. So ooh, ooh, my coffee's percolating, y'all. Percolating breakfast. So then I do salt. Um, I do a couple of shakes of pepper. Okay, that might have been like six, but for some reason pepper is sticky. And then the key to a really good scrambled egg, onion powder. Just a little, not a lot. Like I said before in one of my other videos, you just put a little in and it gives it that little rare that you're after. So it's so good. Oh, my coffee's percolating. The berries are ready. My pan is nice and hot. Let's just mix those up, put those in the pan. I don't know if you can hear them sizzle. I can't really move my phone, so I'm not gonna, but um, I'll give you the play-by-play -play on how the eggs are turning out. And you can see the finished product, so that's really exciting. I have got to invest in a tripod, because I think that would make filming way easier. Right now I'm just kind of setting up where I can, you know, doing that. But thanks for stopping by and having breakfast with me. So I am the queen of soft eggs. I like my eggs just soft. I don't like them runny, but I like them just, they're done, but they're soft. So it really does not take that long to cook eggs. Oh, I don't know if you came my coffee maker. It's almost done, the coffee's almost done. I'm so excited. So excited. Okay, my eggs are done. See, that was crazy, crazy fast. So, make a lot of noise and grab a plate. And we're gonna, I'm gonna show you these in a second. Show you how I like my eggs. Make sure my oven is turned off. Okay, so these are my eggies. Just slightly under, Woo! I almost got burned by the coffee maker, y'all. That would have been bad. And so these are pretty steamy. I'm gonna let those cool off just a little bit. I'm gonna make my coffee and then we're gonna go have breakfast in the dining room. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, I have a journey to the dining room. Um, I'm so excited, I'm gonna show you breakfast. So those are my berries and my eggs and my delicious coffee. And I'm still actually working on uh, water from uh, this morning that I haven't quite finished drinking yet, but you know, 
it happens. So, this is what I'm going to have to do. I'm going to have to eat real quick, shower, get dressed, do my makeup and my hair, and then before I go, I have to make dinner. So, it was super simple. I'm doing ribs in a crock pot tonight, so I go into work later today, so my husband will finish all that up before I come home, so. And ribs, you guys, are so easy. So easy. It's just barbecue sauce, Coke, Coca-Cola, or even Dr. Pepper. I've heard you can use those too. Those two companies do not sponsor my channel anyway. I'm new to, I mean, I've been making videos for like two years, but it's been like off and on. I'm trying to be better about it because, um, I really do enjoy doing it. It's a lot of fun for me because I'm a chatterbox and I have a lot of, I don't know, I talk a lot. I figure I might as well talk to somebody while I'm stuffing my face with eggs. Okay, so my gym situation has been sucking lately. Last week was tough to get workouts in because my schedule changed. Because my coworker went to went on vacation, which again, you know, that wasn't really the problem. And the thing is, my schedule changed only for that week, and literally, I had to be I had to work eight to five all last week, which was fine. Because it's like, oh, just get up at six and go to the gym. In theory, that works. In actual actuality, it was a lot harder. Because Mondays, Mondays and Thursdays are my late days at work. So I go in, I have to go in at 10 o'clock. But on those days, I also have to get my, my darling boy on the bus. So we get up at 6.30. He has breakfast. I get his him ready for school. And then we go. And he gets on the bus. Around 7.45. So I have about an hour, half hour and a two an hour to work out. Um I like to lift. I really do. I've been working really hard on trying to get that that strength back. I'm having a heck of a time. I have like injured my shoulder and my knee and I can't I can't lift. I can't do any upper body. I tried doing like minimal upper body, just doing like barbells and sit weights and not doing anything like over, like nothing I had to like do shoulder, like nothing to do shoulder raises. Just even doing that really hurts, as you can tell. So I can't do any squats. So I'm really limited to just doing cardio. Um, so I've just been, you know, I've just been walking on the treadmill for 30 minutes. I mean, I know people are just like, yeah, well, you know, you're doing something. And I'm like, no, and I totally agree. I am doing something. I just would like to be doing a little bit more because I really just want to get, I really just want to be better and I want to feel better and, you know, get off all of my diabetes medication. Off the bowl, anyway. That's what I would like to have happen. But we'll see. We'll see. Okay. So. I'm going to wrap up here. Um. Finish my berries. Because by the clock, it's time to get in the shower and get ready to roll. Um, I'll be back in a second. Hey guys, I'm back. I'm just walking through my house. Um, just gonna just grab my clothes before I get in the shower. This is my very messy room. I'm turning that light on, sorry. I'll try to be as steady as possible. Um, yep, yeah, so we're going into the devil's armpit of our apartment. Ooh, that was bright. 
Um, I'm going to pick out my clothes. I keep it pretty simple where I work. I, um, sorry, my closet's a hot mess. So I'm just going to do basic black. It's a black shirt, black pants. You know, I like to be comfortable. And since I'm working the late night shift tonight, we're just going to be super comfortable and before I get in the shower. So we're just going to lay those out just so that I have them. Um, oh, I probably should have gotten my underpinnings while I was in there, but that's okay. I can get them when I get out of the shower. I'm going to grab my stuff to get in the shower. Um, we're just going to do my t-shirt, which I use to dry my hair. Should probably stand to be washed. And my towel. And um, these are the products I like to use when I get out of the shower. I'm not going to show me applying them because that would be kind of boring. I haven't even gotten in the shower yet. Um, I love cocoa butter. Um, I like the Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula Heals and Softens. I use that all over my body. It's it's awesome. Highly recommend for people that have diabetes. I do. Because it, um, it really does kind of soothe your skin. For some reason, the medication that you take when you have diabetes just really dries you out. It's really unfortunate. Um, so I'm going to get in the shower. And I'll come back. Um, probably when I come back. I'll be doing my makeup and I might be dressed but I'm not sure yeah I probably won't be but I'll be back in a minute thanks guys hey I'm back you guys um sorry oh such a bad angle I'm so sorry <laughs> you guys I'm so sorry I don't even know where I'm gonna set up my camera I probably should have done this before I um I sat down but um I didn't so bear Please bear with me while I try to figure try to figure this out. Hang on. Hey, okay, so I figured it out. Ooh, so I kind of figured it out. Um, so this is me fresh from the shower. Um, I'm gonna do what I do to get ready face-wise. I have yet to put body stuff on, but that's okay, because that's gonna be it's like I have to leave in like uh 30 minutes and I still have to get uh, dinner in the crock pot. So real quick, um, I did, I'm still having that eye allergy. I mean, it looks a lot better because I've been really taking care of it. What I've been doing is I've been doing the eye drops and I've been doing the saline solution and to kind of cut down on the dryness, I've just been using plain Vaseline, just straight Vaseline. Not a lot, just a little because, um, I'm going to put eye makeup on too and I don't want that to, uh, to, you know, make it go bye-bye. So I actually do that first all around the eye area just to kind of let that get a little saturated and kind of uh, moisturized. So we, this is the first time I've ever used this product. So we're going to try this because um, I was griping when in my things they don't tell you about turning 40 video. Um, I was griping about my skin and how it's like freaking out on me. So I bought this yesterday because I got it got decent reviews. So it's um, the Moisture Rescue by Garnier. Um, it's the actively hydrating daily lotion. So we're gonna try that. And how excited are you? You get to be here for the unboxing of my lotion. And there it is, unboxed. That's rather anticlimactic. Anyway, we're gonna try this. Let's see. Read the instructions. Purpose sunscreen. Helps prevent sunburn if you use direction, blah, 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 blah. Okay, apply, liber lib apply liberally 15 minutes before sun exposure. Repeat at least every two, uh, I'm not gonna repeat every two hours. I don't have time for that. Okay, so we are going to unlock it because it's apparently locked. Do that. And you pump until you get some out. There we go. Okay, that might be a bit much, but we'll see how that goes. And I do the thing where I do circly circles and then I go up. Circly circles and then I go up. And then I put a little bit more because I got to get my big old forehead. Because Carly's got a big old forehead. Say what? Oh, you can even smell a sunscreen in this. So we'll see. We'll see how that helps my delectable, beautiful skin. And because it is sunscreen, you always want to get that decollete area, ladies, in your neck. And remember, 
when you're 40, gravity's not your friend anymore, so always stroke up. Okay. That looks fairly decent. All right, now we just gotta let it dry. So, since I'm going to work, I don't, um, my makeup routine real is real chill and real simple. So, I don't actually put any, um, any foundation on. I just use powder. And the only reason I do that is because, quite frankly, it saves time. <laughs> Because I'm usually crazy busy in the morning. I'm actually crazy busy now. I probably shouldn't even be making this video, but um, I wanted I wanted to because that's how I roll. So I'm just going to use a Wet n Wild F Photo Focus Pressed Compact Pressed Powder. Um, and I just use. Ooh, that's so dirty. Er, okay, I should probably wash this. This is an example of what not to do, but I'm going to do it anyway because I'm pressed for time. So I just kind of dab, you know, get, just get kind of covered. Um, ooh, that lotion is quite lovely, actually. So I just dab and um, get a little more, get a little dry. My big old forehead. I love my big old forehead, actually. So it keeps my brain. And basically, my brain is awesome, so. So, there we go. And I do apologize. I, like, have no contacts and no glasses on, so I'm using my camera as my mirror, so this is kind of strange. So, that'll be, that'll be it for that. Next thing I do is I put on my eyebrows. Now, I tweezed my eyebrows over the weekend, and I think I did a really bad job. Because they, ah, no, don't fall, don't fall. I need you. There we go. Um, so I use, I've been using this. My sister gave this to me years ago. It's Smashbox. Um, it's the waterproof, Smashbox. It's the waterproof eyeshadow palette. I don't know where she got it. She might have gotten it from QVC or um, home shopping because she has a problem. But her problem is usually my gain within a year or so because she buys stuff and then she finds that, you know, not really her style and she moves on. So I always just kind of do a real simple draw. I don't get them crazy dark. I don't know if you can tell, my eyebrows are very strange. I have a natural arch in one and not in the other. So that's always a challenge. I always try to put an arch in, one, in the one that doesn't have one, but sadly, it doesn't always work out that way. Okay, so we are going to do eyeliner, and I always get waterproof eyeliner because I do get crazy watery eyes, and when I wear um, contacts, it's just a better... I use waterproof mascara and waterproof eyeliner. So the one I'm using is Rimmel, um, and it's the, actually, I think it's the Earl Grey. This was a complete accident. I thought I was getting black, but it turned out to be the Earl Grey, which actually isn't terrible. It's not a bad color. Because I got brown eyes, so it's fine. Sorry, I might need a mirror. I might need a mirror for this. It was random. Oh, wait. I think it was Subway Surfer. Okay, yeah. Okay, so I got my mirror. Ooh, that's Scentsy. Oh. So, oh my god, you guys, the Emmys were on last night. Did you watch? I totally watched. I watched all the way through. I don't get... So, I was super sad about not being able to watch A Handmaid's Tale because I don't have Hulu. But, because I love that book, because I remember when it was a movie with Natasha Richardson, the late and great Natasha Richardson. She was really good in that. And I think, oh, it was a cutie patootie man. It was dark hair, dark eyes. He played Nick. He played the driver in that. But I was actually quite, quite happy that it's like kind of like getting a, this rebirth. Because I love, I mean, I love everybody in the show. Like, all of them. Um, so... I was so, but I was so, all the, oh, I was so excited for everybody that won last night. But oh my god, did you guys see Jackie Hoffman's reaction when Laura Dern won? 
not fit to print. I, and I love Jackie Hoffman. I have been a huge fan of hers for a while. I'm like the biggest character. Whoops. I'm like the biggest character um, actor fan. Like I love character actors. That's why when Peter Dinklage like got that whole gig on Game of Thrones, I was like, oh my god, I love Peter Dinklage. I've loved him forever. So, so that's what I do with my eyes. I do inside and around, and I'll do on top, but I always do it after um, um, I do my, I have to check on time after I do my, I have no clock, so luckily my iPads are, okay. We're still in decent shape. Um, so yeah, I just do liner in my eye, eye, eyelid, the rim of your eyes. And then we're going to do uh, mascara. Um, I go between two mascaras. I do like this one. It's the Miss Mag Ma Manga by L'Oreal, right? I hope I said that right. L'Oreal. I think it is because the back of this is written in French. So that makes sense. Um, so yeah, so I was like crazy. I was not happy with her reaction to Miss Laura Dern winning. That's just that's just kind of, that's not good sportsmanship. I mean, my, my whole thing about Hollywood is that, you know, I love Hollywood because I feel like they're the most welcoming of different, they're of diversity. I really do. And yeah, they get shit for it a lot that it's not as diverse as it could be. And to be frank, sometimes it's just not, but I feel like in the last, I feel like in the last like three years, it's become very diverse. So it's been really, it's been really awesome to see that happening, to see that growth and that change. But the thing that I was like super PO'd about is that, you know, don't be, don't be a, like, don't be a bitch. You know, you didn't win and that's okay. You should be honored that you're there because you're doing the thing that you love to do, which most of us who would love to do that can't do. You know, just be grateful. Just be grateful for the experience. I mean, not for nothing, but, you know, just, like, be grateful. Really. That is not that big, that's not a big deal to be, you can, yeah, you can, I mean, you can say whatever you want to say about Laura Dern under your breath and behind her back when she's not listening to you, but, you know, I mean, I know that's horrible to say, but it's the truth. But, you know, you need to save face for yourself because that did not make you look good. It did not. Because, you know, producers are going to see that. People are going to see that. And, yeah, Hollywood is a really forgiving place. But, come on, you are an example. You're an example to other children that may want to do that someday. And they're like, oh, well, if she's going to be a bee, I can be a bee. I don't know. That just, it just really rubbed me the wrong way. Because, <laughs> cause I, I don't know. It just, I just thought that was crap. I thought that was not necessary. And I don't know what happened to her after that. So... I didn't see her, but they were talking about it this morning. Sorry, I'm just putting a little bit more on just because I'm feeling a little zesty, I guess. So, yeah. So, yeah. So, I do my eye, my eye lashes. I just do that, and I let those dry as fast as I can because I think I'm starting to get pressed for time because I've been talking too much, but that's okay. I'm not really worried about it. I should be fine because it's, um, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Everything will be fine. It's not that big of a deal. Um, yeah, so we let those dry. I think they're okay. I'll probably can curl them now. Now, I do the worst thing that you can possibly do to your eyes. I actually, to your eyelashes, I put mascara on first and then I curl them. People are always giving me crap about it. They're like, you're going to break your eyelashes. And they're not wrong. I have broken a few. But for some reason, it's just the way I do it. And I like to do it that way. So don't tell me what to do. So it was great. Oh my God. Okay. So I absolutely love Nicole Kidman, Kidman's dress at the Emmys last night. I thought it was super beautiful. And, um, Shailene Woodley looked really great in her green, her little green number. And my friend posted on Facebook, <laughs> She said a prayer. She was like, please, dear Lord, let me age like Julia Louis-Dreyfus. And to be honest, right? She still looks like the 21-year-old that was on Saturday Night Live so many years ago. And oh my God, you guys. 
I was so excited that Leslie Jones was nominated for an Emmy because I absolutely love her. I think she's so funny and just so amazing. I was just so excited for her. And then Kate McKinnon won, and I was super stoked about that. And um, and the show won. Saturday Night Live won. I was like, oh, this is oh, oh so good. Because you guys don't understand. I have wanted to be on SNL forever. Forever and ever. I love that show. Even when it like wasn't good, because it went through a phase of not being good. So, okay. So the last thing I'm going to do is do my top eyeliner. And this is what I do. I get a little bit of water. I just put it in a little cap and I take my brush and I dip it in there. My mom taught me this trick, so. And so I take my black eyeshadow and we're gonna make kind of a, uh, we're gonna make our own little. And the reason I do this is because my eyes are super, um, I don't like to pull on my eye a lot only because I feel, I just don't like to do it because the, the, the line isn't as, steady. Um, so we're just going to go above the lash and just kind of paint that on so that'll, that'll be good. So, so yeah, that looks good. So what other things? Oh, the, um, the woman that won for best comedy writing on, um, Aziz Ansari show. What was her name? Lena. Oh, I forgot her last, was it Waith? Wife? She was glorious. I was so happy for her. Master of None, Aziz Ansari show, Master of None. I was so excited for her. I like just, and I was so, I was just so, just, I was enamored by her. Just her whole look, her whole presence on stage was absolutely mesmerizing. And I was so, I was just so happy for her. The first black woman to win for comedy writing. Seriously, long time coming people long time come in so I'm gonna do that okay so that's my finished product I usually just throw on um, you know what I'll do it now so I'm gonna just put on this uh, gel lip liner which is great you can just a little goes a long way so um, this is sorry this is what color is this this is the product is wet and wild and it's plum together I'm just gonna literally that's probably all I need yeah see just a little just a little hue change my lip a little bit see that's perfect awesome okay so now my hair I'll back up a little so you can see so people are always asking me Carly your hair always looks so good and the truth is I'm very, I'm very low, 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 low maintenance with my hair. I brush it maybe twice a week just so that it doesn't get like naughty and gross. But the rest of the time, it's all just wash it, throw Garnier Fructis style conditioning cream gel. That's what I use. And then I just let it air dry. That's it. That's all I do. And then I don't wash it for, I probably could use a little bit more than that. I wash it every other day, so tomorrow I won't wash it, and I'll just like spritz it with water and put a little bit more cream gel in it, and then, so I just go through, I'm about to lose my top, <laughs> I'll just work it through, yep, and I will just let nature take its course after that, you know, because that's how we do it. Um, I'm going to get dressed. I'm going to moisturize and get dressed and then I'm going to make dinner and then I will head out. Um, but I'm not done yet. I will talk to you guys before I leave. Okay guys, peace of resistance. I got my ribs. Can you see that? There you go. In my crock pot. Very simple ingredient. Just um, ribs, crock pot, coke, and barbecue sauce. So we are going to put that baby on low. Did I plug it in? Yes. Put that on low. It'll be nice and delicious by the time my husband comes home and gets it out. Ooh. A uh, funny thing about me, I do not like cabinet doors open at all. So 
Cabinet doors are open. Pantry doors, on the other hand, don't bother me as much, but cabinet doors drive me crazy. Okay, so we just gotta get a few more things and then we'll be ready to roll. Okay, huh. crazy time. Okay, so the lighting's probably really bad. I'm getting a lot of natural sunlight. So just, uh, just wrapping things up. I got my go bags. It's my work stuff. I brought shorts because I'm gonna attempt to ask my the lady I work with, if she will stick a needle in my knee today. And this is just random drinks. I always like to have drinks at work. So I've got um, a sparkling water and a Diet Coke. Nobody sponsors my channel. And I'm that this is, I don't even know if you can see it. Um, it's liverwurst, and I'm bringing it to my mother for lunch. Um, like I say, none of the products that you see, none of the companies that run them um, am I sponsored by. So not the Garnier stuff I put on my face, not any of it. So... So I'm gonna grab my keys, grab my bags, and we're gonna do final looks at my mirror, and then we're gonna go. Do I wanna bring water with me? No, do I wanna put my coffee cup in the sink? Yes, that'll go. Lukewarm coffee, always delicious. Okay, grab my, grab my food bag, I got my car keys, we're gonna do final looks in my mirror before I go. Right here. Um, yeah. Mama's looking hot. I'm gonna turn you around. Check in. Even my shoes. I'm wearing Chuck Taylors because that's how we roll at my office. And no, they're not tied because I don't have time to tie them. So that's it, guys. Totally getting ready. Totally almost dropped my camera, but that's what my life is in the morning on a Monday. I hope you guys watch this. I hope you guys like this. If you do, Thumbs it up, comment below, always looking for comments. Thanks guys, please subscribe to my channel. I really love subscribers. And um, that's all I gotta say. I gotta go, I'm totally late now. So peace out, love yourself, love each other, bye.